Good morning everyone, so today we have a really busy day in front of us, so to get through it we need to start off by making a really strong breakfast. My plan for the day just hit a major bump. One of the meetings got moved to late afternoon and the other one I'm not gonna go to. I'm just gonna do it over the phone because there's no point in going out for a really short meeting when I can just call them. So instead of going to those meetings, I'm gonna show you some of my pre filming process so the process that happens before I go out filming and before I even start editing or doing really anything to the video so essentially taking all the things that go on inside this brain and putting them on paper and into a video one small disclaimer because this is my process and worked out around the way my head works you have to figure out how to do this yourself I can't guarantee that this way will work for you I can only show you the way I do it to somehow help you you just have to keep creating to figure out how you work and how how your head works and how you can get all of those fancy crazy ideas onto a paper and into a video. I start off by always having saved lots of bookmarks of nice stuff that I found to, to really get my mind going and I start the day off by watching a lot of nice stuff and I try to write down some of the effects that would work for me in my video for the project I'm planning. So I really create something 100% from scratch because I'm still such a mediocre editor in my mind and I have to like just keep doing the process and learning to use the camera in better ways and learning to use the editing software in better ways to figure out a way to make everything my own. So of course everything I do I try to make it my own and try to put my own spin on it but a lot of the effects you see I usually have borrowed somewhere else or I've completely 100% stolen the effects from someone else. Maybe sometime in the future when I'm 100% professional and I can like figure out new ideas just like that and just my mind works in crazy ways then maybe I can have some new stuff just popping into my head every now and then but for now I'm mostly relying on what other people have figured out looks nice and I try to fine-tune it and make it into my own effect. So the way I make the effects into my own is by looking at these effects trying to visualize them in my head trying to flip them out upside down trying to figure out how they are working how they are visually progressing and just trying to either flip them upside down and create them into something entirely new or I try to combine a few and in that sense make something new out of a combination of the two and if you in advance know where you're shooting go out there go check it out have a visual representation in your mind what the place looks like so when you can imagine yourself standing there with the camera looking in that direction knowing what you'll see that will help you a lot when trying to figure out these effects what will work well in what location and it will just help you tremendously if you have a visual representation of the location or even a picture of the location in your mind or on your computer then I progress by listening to the song over and over, I'm, I'm talking 10 times, 30 times, like a lot of times. You will get fed up with any song you edit to because you have to know every single element of the song. You have to know what goes where and you have to literally know the song by heart. And Because that's the only way you can really figure out how to place everything in the right location to make it interesting for the viewer. Most of my focus go into creating a really good intro because the attention span of a human has shrunk so much because we have the Facebook feeds and everyone, everyone's, imagine yourself scrolling through the Facebook feed, how often do you stop? And how often do you just keep on scrolling because you realize that wasn't interesting, that wasn't nice. So the first few seconds to your video are super crucial and you really have to hit the right spots and you really have to make them visually entertaining so the viewer actually keeps on watching your video. I also try to space out the effects. If you have a lot of effects over 30 seconds and then nothing for the rest of the video, the rest of the video will look super boring. But if you have them spaced out like 10 seconds in between and then a few more, like uh, within a few seconds you'd have let's say three cool effects and then, then it flips over to being normal video for 10, 15, 20 seconds and then again something cool happens. That keeps the viewer entertained and that's a lot better than actually putting everything cool at the start and then nothing at for the rest of the video. So try to space them out but also keep focus on the intro. The outro is also super important. Making the viewer feel like that was a good watch and leaving them with a good emotion is always a good thing. I always try to finish the video off with some smiles or something that makes the viewer connected to the video and makes them appreciate the video because the outro is gonna make the viewer either watch it again or just not watch it ever again and think why did I ever watch this. So even though your intro is strong, if the rest of your video and the outro is super weak, the viewer is still not gonna watch it. The intro and the outro is the two most important parts of the video and then everything else in the middle is not as important but it's obviously too important to keep the viewer entertained throughout the entire thing so he actually makes it through the entire thing. 
because there's no point in having a strong intro if the viewer abandons the video after a minute, a minute and a half. So hopefully these small tips help you create your own process out of making a video because having a process and knowing what points to hit is really beneficial and not creating everything just the way you feel like it because figuring out what makes a video good is essential for making a good video. Okay, so next up I'm actually going to my afternoon meeting and after that I'm gonna go check if I can find a better bag because look, this is, I don't know if you can actually see it, but it's, it's almost breaking. And I'm usually carrying both my camera and my computer in that bag, so if I would drop the bag it would be like an expense of 5k plus, so I mean, spending some money on a decent bag would probably be a good idea, so I'm gonna go see if I can find a good bag to replace this old crappy one. But first off, we're going to my meeting. The meeting went super well, now let's go to the biggest electronics store of the Nordics. Okay, so the meeting went super well, I just have a big decision to make. Now I'm still on the way, I just need to wait for this tram for another two minutes, then I'm getting on the tram, and then let's go clear our minds to do some shopping. And we're here. Okay, so the electronics store run was completely 100% failed. I got nothing of what I wanted. I wanted a new bag, which they didn't have any nice ones or any ones that were properly priced. I found one I really liked. Turned out it cost 200 euros and no, I'm not spending that amount on a bag. And I was also supposed to pick up six terabytes of network attached storage, just the same as this one that I got right here, which is actually storing all of my old data and backing it up. Okay, so I had ordered one of those, or what I thought was one of those network attached drives, but as it turns out, it was not network attached at all. It was just a normal but huge storage device for your computer, which you plug right in your computer, which I literally have no use for. I was paying it on pickup, so I just canceled the order, but it sucked going that far just to get nothing. But fortunately, when I came back here, I got this, which is actually something really cool and I'll show you in a second. So I don't know if I actually told you this but I'm going on a video shoot on Sunday and this is actually something for that video shoot and I believe that this is gonna increase the production value by so much even though they cost like literally nothing. This is really not how I open one of these but I mean And then premium crystal. So as you can see it's already reflecting a lot of light inside this and this can be used for many, many creative effects in video. And this one is, well as you can see already I can distort it quite well. I mean obviously this lens is way too wide for this thing. So yeah, let's try these guys out a bit. Okay, that wasn't the ideal testing condition. If there's a lot of contrast in the picture, they work a lot better. And if you have like a simple image, you can take anything you want into the picture. And with these prisms, you can actually create something really cool and something you don't see in every single video. And I'm also gonna link down below one of my favorite videos working with prisms. I can only imagine how long it's taken them to make this, and but it's insane. Go check it out in the link down below. Okay, so I actually decided with my friend to go for a small adventure. So right now he's getting his bike and I'm gonna get mine and yeah, I'll show you guys what we're up to. Okay, since I'm completely 100% out of breath, do you want to explain what we're doing? We're biking. Yeah, biking. If a door is locked, what do you do? Well... Yep, that's how you do it. Okay, so stop number one, our private student club. As you can tell, that base is crazy. Like, no joke. And now let's go check out the sunset from the roof. Okay, so there are some people loading and unloading in the van, and there's like too many people moving around here. We tried to find another way out, but it's not looking too good. We'll still try, but we might not make it up on the roof. And they're gone. This view is amazing. 
and clouds of rain rolling in, so we, we won't be here for too long. <laughs> Okay, the clouds are still rolling in. We have, I believe, about 15 minutes until it starts pouring down. So let's make the most of it. This view is fabulous. It's so amazing being up here. I haven't been in a high point like this, like ever in Helsinki. So I'm super happy to be here. It's amazing. Okay, so I literally just forgot my GoPro up there. Yep, off we go. Raining in two minutes. Literally one second after I got down, those people turned up. And now they're leaving. <laughs> that was such good timing. Okay, so never mind about the rain, it's literally snowing right now. Well, at least you won't get us wet, but what the f This is Finland in April, guys. Look at this weather. Okay, so by now you gotta know that I don't make the smart decisions all the time. Look at everything, it's soaking wet. I told you guys that it would start raining and actually it did start snowing, but that snow turned into water as it hit the ground and as it hit everything. So everything is soaking and yeah, I gotta try to stay dry and try to not get any more sick than I already am because I actually have a video shoot on Sundays, which I can't be sick for. I'm gonna end it for today. I'm actually gonna hop in a warm shower and just like try to not get any worse with this cold because as I said, I can't be sick on Sunday. So, wish me luck guys, and I'll see you guys whenever I make another vlog.